Hi, this is Jeff Downs, and this is the syllabus review for Math 120, Fundamentals of College Math. This is the summer section uh, 4001 online. Again, my name is Jeff Downs. My email address is there, and there's um, the web page I have, but it's really not updated much. It's, in fact, I think it's not even linked properly anymore. Anyway, not, not a big deal. Uh, prerequisites, Math 96 or Math 95 with a grade of B minus or better or equivalent. The course description is it offers a course in real numbers and consumer mathematics, variation, functions, relations, and graphs, geometry or measurement, probability and statistics, sets, and logic. Course objectives. This course is broad in scope and emphasizes applications. Topics will include probability, statistics, business, finance, and consumer mathematics. Areas 1 and 2 will make up two-thirds of the semester, so uh, actually it'll be probably a little more than that, but probability and statistics, business, finance, and consumer mathematics. Those are really a big chunk of the course, and the last part of the course is logic. And the uh, course is three credits, transferability within the Nevada schools. This course is designed to apply toward a WNC degree and or transfer to other schools within the Nevada system of higher education, depending on the degree chosen and other courses completed. It may transfer to colleges and universities outside Nevada. For information about how this course can transfer and apply to your program of study, please contact a counselor. Linkage to the college mission. Provide instruction that contributes to a student's ability to think critically and solve problems, to reason mathematically, and apply computational skills. We'll be using the book A Survey of Mathematics with Applications, the 10th edition, by Angel Abbott and Rund. So we have two options for the textbook. You can purchase the textbook with My Math Lab, and there's ISBN for that. Or you can get just My Math Lab only, and there's the ISBN for that. There is an ebook in my math lab, but all the homework and the exams are done in my math lab. Supplies, you need a textbook. A TI graphing calculator is optional but encouraged. I like to use the TI 89 personally, and also the TI 84 and TI 83 for that matter. They're very good calculators. Standard grading scale, A, B, C, D, F. Grade breakdown, you'll have one midterm at 200 points, 10 quizzes at 10 points each. So there are actually 11 quizzes. We take the top 10. Four chapters of homework at 50 points each for 200 points. Participation is 10 postings and the discussion boards at 10 points each for 100 points. And the final exam is one final at 200 points for 200 points. The midterm, there will be a total of sorry 800 points. The midterm will be a midterm which is uh, due on July 7, 2017. The midterm will be conducted in my math lab. The midterm will cover chapters 10 and 11. There will be no makeup for a missed midterm. You'll have multiple attempts on the midterm with your best score counting for the grade. Quizzes, there will be 11 quizzes. The top 10 quizzes will be counted for the grade. Each quiz is worth 10 points toward the grade. If a quiz is missed, it will receive a score of 0. There will be 26 assignments over 4 chapters. Each assignment is worth 50 points. Homework will be completed through my math lab. To access the site, go to, and there's a link you can go to, uh, and use the course ID down 35762. I will not accept any late homework. Final exam. The final exam is due August 4th, 2017. You will complete the final exam in my math lab. The final exam will cover chapters 12 and 3. You will have multiple attempts on the final exam with the highest score counting. Participation slash discussion slash attendance. That's the participation part of the grade. A participation grade is determined by the number of substantive postings on the discussion board in Canvas. I'll be checking posts in the introduction, homework, discussions, and math jokes areas. Ethics statement, no cheating of any kind will be tolerated. Any student caught cheating, attempting to cheat, or assisting in the cheating of another student will be expelled from the class with a failing grade. That would be an F. Note, please use proper netiquette when making postings in the discussion boards in Canvas for tips on netiquette. Please see the Participation Discussion Postings page on our Canvas page. Great appeals can be made to Director Gary Schwartz at gary.schwartz at wnc.edu. Disability Statement. Western Nevada College is committed to providing reasonable accommodations for all persons with disabilities. The syllabus is available in alternate formats upon request. Students with disabilities, if you are seeking classroom accommodations under the Americans with Disabilities Act, you're required to register with the Disability Support Services. 
DSS is located in Cedar 209 on the Carson City campus. Phone or email at 775-445-4459 or susan.trist at wnc.edu. To receive academic accommodations for this class, please obtain the proper DSS forms and meet with me at the beginning of the semester. Important dates. We have our class begin date, last day to receive 100% refund, last date for class late fee, late registration ends, and uh, right. Independence Day observed, last day to change credit to audit or audit to credit, last day to drop fall classes with a W, and the final exam is due on the 4th. Okay, down here I have a tentative schedule. This could change, but there's our tentative schedule. It typically doesn't change, but that's what the schedule looks like. And this part here is shows the quizzes and what's covered on the quizzes. So I hope that makes sense. And please send me any questions you have. Thanks.